our duty today as believers is to still give thanks to God in the midst of the pendant storm that is out there in the Atlantic. We ought to give God praise because God is still God of the storm. Our God, Jehovah, the Almighty, the self-existent one, is still the God of the storms. And we need not fear if God is in us. We must remember that he declared when you go through the deep waters, I will be with you. You. And so we must commit our ways to God. We must trust in Him and He will see us through. You gotta say that to yourself. Yes, we may fear and be afraid, but God is our keeper. We must commit our ways to Him. Psalm 91 verse 4 declares, He will cover you with his feathers, and underneath his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. This is the word of God to us today. And God is expecting us to hold on to his word because he's still the God of the storm. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. That's our God. He alone is our rock and our salvation. And so Jeremiah 29 verse 11 reminds us, For I know the plans I have for you, the plans to prosper you and not to harm you, the plans to give you hope and a future. Even if this is the end for us, God's plan will prevail. I want to say that again. Even if the, this is the end for us, the plans of God for our lives will prevail. My admonition to you today as believers, Psalm 34 verse 4, I saw the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears, the word of God to the people of God. Father, we are grateful to you today. We thank you that in the midst of this pending storm, you are God. You said in Isaiah 40 verse 10, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And so I thank you today. And I pray that we will cast our anxieties, our fears on you because you care for us. I thank you that we will seek you. We will seek you because you are a God of the storm. You control the wind and the waves. You declare peace. Be still. And I pray that we be still in our spirit. We be still in our souls by trusting you every step of the way that our faith will rise in you. And at the end of the day, you will find faith in us in the midst of the storm. We give you praise and adoration that you will give us wisdom 
and knowledge. You will protect us. You will direct us. Even now, you will be exalted in us. And we thank you for those who have responsibility in this season to activate, to do what is right. And right is we pray the blessings of God upon every organization, upon every household, upon the government, and every agency. We pray the blessings of God that we will function and operate in the divine calling and appointment in this season. And we give you praise for protecting us, for guiding us, for helping us. And we thank you that you're the God of the storm. And you will take us over safely on the other side. To this we give you praise and glory and honor. Thank you for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere. And for those who lead the nations, we commend to you, including our Prime Minister and all of Parliament and their families, we commend them to you. And we say, Lord, have your way even now. And we give you praise. And we give you honor. And we give you glory. In Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. God bless you today, believers. Even in the midst of the storm, the pendant storm. God is the God of the storm. Our God, Elohim, the self-existent one, is the God of the storm. And he will keep us. And that right early. Have a great day in the Lord.